In this part 3 movie, you animate the light cycles by constraining them to predetermined trajectories. In the perspective view, zoom in on the center where the light cycles are. Although you can constrain a light cycle directly to a path, it is usually good practice to use an animation helper for the job. This way, should you decide to adjust or even scrap the animation completely, you can delete the helper and leave the main object clean of any keyframes. Typically, you would use a dummy or a point helper. The point helper is advantageous as it has more controls. Used in box mode, it actually looks like a dummy object, but it has the added bonus of a size value that the dummy helper doesn't have. Rename the point helper LC for light cycle, blue helper. Align it center to center to the rear wheel of the light cycle. Make sure you align it in X and Y only, not in Z. You want the helper to remain on the ground level. Link the body of the blue light cycle to the helper. This may be difficult to do in the viewport as you may link it to the ground accidentally. Use the H key to select the helper from a list instead. Verify that by moving the point helper, the blue light cycle moves with it. Zoom back a bit to bring the paths into view. To constrain the helper on the path, make sure it is selected and then choose Animation Constraints Path Constraint. A rubber band appears that is connected to the helper. Point it to the blue path and click the mouse button. The helper gets relocated to the beginning of the path. Because it is linked to the helper, the light cycle is relocated as well. Scrub the animation and notice that at this time, the light cycle keeps pointing the same way. In the Motion panel, enable the Follow option to make the helper point in the direction of travel. To prevent the light cycle from traveling backwards, enable the Flip option. The helper, and therefore the light cycle, are traveling along the path for the duration of the animation, in this case 300 frames. However, it would be nice to make the light cycle bank for the turns. There are a couple of ways of doing this. You could enable the bank option and animate the bank amount. Or you can simply rotate the helper for every turn of path travel. In this tutorial, you will use the second method. You can use Auto Key or Set Key modes to animate the rotation of the helper. Here, you will use Set Key mode as it promotes post-to-pose -pose animation. Enable Set Key mode and then click Key Filters. Make sure only the Rotation option is enabled. You are only interested in the Rotation Animation track. Scrub the animation to a point before the first big turn at around frame 25. Click the Set Key button. Alternatively, you can press the K key on the keyboard to create a keyframe. This ensures the helper, and therefore the light cycle, stays upright at least up to this point. Scrub the animation to a point after the turn, at around frame 75. Create another keyframe. At this point, nothing has changed much. You are about to introduce a change between the two keyframes you have just created. Go to a frame right in the middle of the turn, around frame 48. Choose the Rotate tool and set the coordinate system to Local. Zoom in and rotate the helper to bank the light cycle to a reasonable level and then create a keyframe. The light cycle now banks for the turn, but the two keyframes you created earlier ensure it is up straight before and after the turn. Alternatively, you can make the banking more pronounced by making it last longer. Move the rotation key you created at frame 48 to frame 40. Using Shift Move, copy that keyframe to frame 60. Now the maximum value of the banking stays on longer and the turn feels more natural. Repeat the procedure for the second turn. First, block off the upstraight status at frames 120 and 140.
Create the in-between rotation keys at frame 128 and 134. These numbers are given for information only. Feel free to experiment with other values. For example, you may notice that the light cycle goes up right a little abruptly. In that case, move the last key by a couple of frames for a more natural motion. Do the same for the last turn. Block it off between frames 190 and 215. Create the in-between bankings around frames 198 and 206. Exit set key mode and go to frame 0 when done. Once you're done with the first light cycle, you know enough to animate the second. Create a point helper for it and give it an appropriate name. Align it to the rear wheel of the second light cycle as you did with the first one. Link the body of the light cycle to the helper. Again, these are the same steps you did earlier. Constrain the helper to the yellow path. Make sure it is set to follow the path and that it is oriented properly. As you did earlier, use set key mode to rotate the helper for the various turns. Play back the animation when done. Based on the trajectories, you can anticipate what happens around frame 260 when one light cycle runs into the light trail of another. And that light trail is precisely what you will be creating in the next movie.